Hello dear friends, welcome to this 5 to 10 minute message that I bring to you uh, concerning the Word of God and I pray it will be a, a word for you. It will help you today to, to go stronger in the Lord and to face whatever you face and know God loves you and He's with you. I want to entitle this message the fact that God still loves you. God still loves you. You might feel that you've done something that's bad and that He's turned away from you and He's frowning on you and He's he don't love you anymore. I want you to know He still loves you. He loves you like a parent loves a child. Even when the child goes wrong, that parent still loves him. I want you to know God loves you far more than any mother or father could love a child. And He loves you now. And the Bible tells us over in Revelation 14 that in that day when you stand before God, they had said in, that, in their mouth was found no God, for they are without fault before the throne of God. One day you're going to stand before the throne of God and you'll be without fault. You'll be clean, redeemed, with a new spirit, a new soul, and a new body. And you'll be eternally like the Lord. You'll be without fault before the throne of God. And I thank God for that. For in the Bible it teaches us again that He loves us because in Ephesians, the first chapter, it says, God has predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ. He's adopted you and you become his children. You're born again and become a child of God. You belong to God, dear friend. You don't belong to the world anymore. You belong to the kingdom of God. You don't belong to the devil anymore. You belong to Jesus. You belong to God, your Father. And he has adopted you according to the good pleasure of his will. God saved you because he loved you and chose to save you. Then it says, To the praise of his glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the Beloved. The Beloved is Jesus Christ, and you're accepted in Christ. And the Lord God now looks upon you, and he sees you in Christ, and you're safe. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, and he's, he's a new person. The Bible says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the uh, riches of his grace. O oh, marvelous grace of our loving Lord. O oh, grace, grace that is greater than our guilt and our sin. O oh, yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured. O oh, there where the blood of the Lamb was spilt. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that it pardons without and within. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that is greater than all of our sin. I want you to believe that, dear brother. Believe that, my sister, that God loves you. In spite of the mistakes you made, He loves you. And He said, come to me. And just know that He'll forgive you. Say, forgive me, Lord. And He's forgiven forever because He's paid the price. The Bible says over in the book of uh, Jude, in the, uh, these words, but, but you, beloved, build yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. And uh, keep yourself in the love of God, looking for the mercy of the Lord Jesus unto eternal life. You build yourself up then and uh, on your most holy faith. Believe, dear God, that the Lord is there, that He loves you. Build yourself up on the holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep praying. Keep praying when it seems like the answer is not coming. Keep praying. Keep talking to God. He hears you. Keep walking with God. He'll never leave you. Keep loving God. He loves you forever. He belongs to you and you belong to Him when you're saved by grace. The Bible says, keep yourself in the love of God. Oh, praise God. May the love of God fill you, my dear friend. Fill you with His love that you might know that whatever happens, He loves you. He feels when you're hurt. He delights when you're, you're delighted. Oh, He smiles when you're happy. He knows what you're going through and He's going through with you because He loves you, and He is not going to leave you. And so keep yourself in the love of God. Keep yourself in the love of God. This is so very, very important. In fact, it's so important that I want you to know that that's the fact that we need. We need to be saved. If you're not a Christian, you need to give up and trust the Lord and let Him save you. The Bible says over in Ephesians, in, in the uh, second chapter, by... <clears throat> For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It's, it's the, the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. 
but we are his workmanship created to good works by Jesus Christ. So you're saved by grace through faith. Not of yourself. There's a lifeguard. And he looks out there and he sees a, a person. This man is drowning. Crying for help. He's going under. And he swims out. Now he gets pretty close to him. But he sees he's still struggling. Oh he's fighting that water. He knows that if he gets too close and tries to help him. He's going to drag him down with him. Struggling trying to get get out, out, of, the, out of the waves and get back safe. So he waits till finally the man gives up and goes under. He's weak, he's gone. Then he grabs him, puts his arm around him, under his arms, and begins swimming back. And he brings him back to shore because the man has given up and he's completely surrendered now to the lifeguard. God has to do that with you and me. As long as we keep struggling, we're going to miss it. But when we give up and say, Lord God, I'm trusting you to save me don't know how it's done, but I believe I'm be born again when I believe in Jesus. Trust Him, and He'll do it. Pray this brief prayer with me as I close, asking God to come in your heart, and then you'll know that He loves you and He'll save you. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again, and I believe He's coming back. Come into my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. God help me. Amen and amen. Find your good church and worship with God's people. Be baptized if you've never been baptized. Follow the Lord and let the hand of God direct you. And know this, dear friend, that the Lord still loves you. And he keep on loving you until it's all over. Amen and amen.